Everybody cross fingers and hold your thumbs and do whatever you do for good luck. Maybe we'll find them. If we don't, though, we'll go look for the lion. We saw a big male lion off in that direction this morning. Hopefully he decides to stick around for us. Okay. Hyenas. Oh, hyenas. Hyenas. We found the hyenas. Yay. I'm so excited. Yippee. One, two, three hyenas. Uh, just to let you know, we're still having problems, Manu, with the infrared. Alice, we are struggling with our infrared light. There we go. So I'm going to keep spotlighting them, but I'm going to try not to overwhelm us. There you go. Look, there's the spotted hyena. Oh, Grace, the amazing thing about the hyenas in this particular area is that there are clans of up to a hundred members. Now, not all of them will be at the den site at the same time because, well, when they've got babies with them, then they are, you know, not all of the females will have babies at the same time, but if they do have babies, they will go to the den site. Hello, hyenas. They're coming to say hello to us. See, this is how curious hyenas are. Hello. What's up? We're coming right to the front of the car. Now, hyenas are not dangerous to people unless you fall asleep out in the open. If you fall asleep in the open, they will come and investigate. And because they're curious, they don't have fingers or thumbs, but they do have very strong jaws. So you must never sleep out here in the open without some form of protection. That's the only way. Okay, we're going to see if there's any more. That's the only way that hyenas can actually harm you. Okay, we're going to follow our spotted hyenas for a little bit.